Pretty Frog here with a very special message for my good friend, Omron Dachnish. That's right. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? I love sending special messages like this to people all over the world, but especially to great little boys like you, Omron, all the way over in Aleppo. I'm thinking about you today and every day. You are a special little boy. And, of course, I'd love to give a big shout-out to your sisters, Roa and Taki, and your brother, Abdullah. Omron, always be safe in Aleppo with your family. We love you. The whole world loves you! Yeah! Omron, keep being the sweet little boy you are. You'll always be close in my heart. From your friend, Kermit the Frog. I love you, Omron. Ahlan, ana Omron Danish. لقد رأيتني في سيارة الإسعاف في حلب. عندما أطاحت الطيارات الجوية بمنزل عائلتي أنا بأمان الآن أردت أن أجيب على تساؤل شخص ما حول مشاعري عن نفسي وعن عائلتي عن طريق قول أنا بخير وأنا أحبك أيضا يا ديفيد I'd like to talk with you about a special little boy who lives in Aleppo, Syria. His name is Amran Daknish. He and his family were injured during airstrikes in Aleppo during the summer of 2016. Everyone in the world saw him and even the presidential candidates discussed him. The heartbreaking video of a five-year-old Syrian boy named Amran sitting in an ambulance after being pulled from the rubble, rubble after an airstrike in Aleppo focused the world's attention on the horrors of the war in Syria with 136 million views on Facebook alone. But there are much worse images coming out of Aleppo every day now where in the past few weeks alone 400 people have been killed, at least 100 of them children. Just days ago the State Department called for a war crimes investigation of the Syrian regime of Bashar al-Assad and its ally Russia for their bombardment of Aleppo. That picture of that little four-year-old boy in Aleppo with the blood coming down his face while he sat in an ambulance is Disgusting. haunting. I am asking you to remember him and his family. They should never have had to endure this. No one should. He is safe today with his family, but millions of other children are still suffering in the world today. Remember Amran. Remember his people. Remember Aleppo. مرحبا اسمي عمران دجنيش كان عمري ثلاث سنين ونص لما ضربوا الغارات الجوية الروسية على حلب أكيد شفتوني هذيك الليلة في سيارة الإسعاف يوم سبعتاش تمانية ألفين وستاش واليوم أنا أفضل بكتير أنا صورت هذا الفيديو عشان أسأل عيلتي شو اسم أمي إذا ممكن أي شخص يساعدني أنا بقدره كتير بفضلكم أروني شخص أحضن زي أبويا محمد الخير أبو علي أخواتي رؤى وطقي وعبد الله أنا لسه ما بعرف اسم أمي رجاء ساعدوني في معرفتهم أحب كل من يهتم بي 
وما زال يريد أن يعرف كيف هي عائلتي في حلب لن أنسى أبدا لطفكم مع السلامة should never allow the government to decide what is acceptable speech and what is unacceptable speech. Um, we, should, we should penalize behaviors, not opinions, and not speech. Uh, if you start trying to regulate speech, you start trying to regulate uh, thoughts, you start trying to regulate beliefs rather than behaviors, uh, there's no way that you're not going to abridge the constitutional rights of millions of Americans. Ahlan, ana Umran Danish. لقد رأيتني في سيارة الإسعاف في حلب. عندما أطاحت الطيارات الجوية. بمنزل عائلتي أنا بأمان الآن أردت أن أجيب على تساؤل شخص ما حول مشاعري عن نفسي وعن عائلتي عن طريق قول أنا بخير وأنا أحبك أيضا يا ديب.
Hi, Omran. This is Cat Dog. I saw our picture on your shirt and wanted to say we love you. Be safe in Aleppo now. <laughs> country isn't great, that somehow we need to make it great again, because this right now is the greatest country on earth. This is your president. In the past 10 years, I have fooled all of you into believing the socialist ideology of everyone is equal. How? By making everyone believe the lie and having destroyed our nation's sovereignty. Through communism, we will all be a unified global government of acceptance by making everyone have the same thing. You won't be an American. You won't be a citizen anymore. You will be the same as your dog, your neighbors in Mexico. If all have nothing, then all will be equal. That is the purpose of socialism. You are nothing unless the government tells you who or what you are. Don't pretend you don't know what I've been doing. I brainwashed you through high-definition television. You are truly the walking dead. If I told you to give up your freedoms, you would. But it's already happened, so I don't need to keep convincing you. <laughs> you all are vegetables now anyway. Oh, by the way, if you can't see that I'm the Antichrist, then there's no reason anymore to tell you what must be done next, because you'll be hunted down with the Christians and exterminated for not believing me not accepting who I am. I am your Messiah, your Imam Mahdi. April 23rd, 2018, I told the world, but it wasn't time yet to bring out who I am. So the conspiracy must continue against Trump until that is accomplished. 
the rapture must happen first. Remember always that I made narcotics legal. I made every kind accessible. I made this addicted nation a reality through suicide, overdoses, you name it. I did that. Ever wonder how I control everything you see and hear? I own the media. I have since I took over in 2009. I laugh when I see Republicans standing next to each other without a word. They can't. I control what they see, what they hear. Want truth, facts, forget it. I am your whole world now. If life means anything today, it won't under the global system I've initiated since I became president in 2009. My legions accept whatever I tell them to do. You will too, or you'll be hunted down with the rest and exterminated. It's as simple as that. Accept and obey, or resist and die. I am your hope for tomorrow. I am your president. There is only one outcome. World domination. Either you'll accept me or be taken out. It's time to take a stand for one or the other. Me or freedom and liberty. Remember Adolf Hitler, freedom is a lie. Enslavement is acceptance.